Hello YouTube, this is the Drill Seeker. AJ bring you the Drill Seeker Carnival Series of 2013 final results video. And I'll give you the final results for Carnival 2 of the series, which is at Sinclair Shores. It was at the Sinclair Shores Seer uh, Arena. I think that's what it calls. Uh, it's a uh, like a a recreation center or something like that. Maybe it was called the it was maybe called the Senior Recreation Center. I don't know what it is. But anyway, it is on Stevens Road, right at I ninety four. Unfortunately, there is no exit for I ninety four to Stevens, so you have to be on Stevens to see it. And and it's in Saint Clair Shores. I do want to get on details on what happened during that carnival. First of all, it rained. Second of all, I didn't have my camera charged. And thirdly, I didn't have my SD card, so the bad part about this is that there are no videos that are going to be associated with Big Rock Amusements Carnival, and no videos either from St. Clair Shores. However, I will be going back to Big Rock Amusements in Hazel Park in two weeks, so there's going to be a little bit difference on that, and plus there's something big I'm expecting for Big Rock, so I hope to go there and have fun. Now, let's get into the final results. As you can see on the screen, I did ride a few rides right before it rained and it got super cold afterwards. We're going to start with the Alien Adduction and this is the shocker of 2013 so far. Alien Adduction is a Gravitron ride and I remember back four years ago I said that Alien Adduction was not going to get anywhere in the top 10. I'm so wrong right now. This is as of right now. I went on that thing three times. And uh, so there was a lot of screaming, loud music, and LED lights. On an alien abduction, Gravitron, really? That had to be worth 101 points. It was almost worth 102. I gave it 101.5. And that right there pretty much stands into the fact that Alien Adduction right now is number one in the standings in the ride of the year after two carnivals. So three rides of that thing is awesome. Let's see how that thing does in Halo Park. But I did get also other rides. The Yo-Yo was the next one. I did give it 98.5 points because that thing almost Shot me when it started going way up, then way down. As it felt, it felt like I was flying up, but it's called, I guess it's called Yo-Yo for a reason. But still, it, it shot me how I was just going way up and then way down. As it felt like I was just swinging around in like a wave or something like that. That that was interesting. Ninety-eight point five points for that one ride of Yo-Yo. I did get on the bumper cars, the scooters they call it once again. Once stuck in. I got an LOL, and again, I got nine bumps, so it ties the way shows at Westland's current number of bumps with nine. I did go in the Himalaya once, not really majorly big, but it, the sirens, the sirens gave it plus one, and the screaming from people gave it plus one, so it went from 94.5 to 96.5 after the ride itself. Now, the Wacky Shack, uh, that's kind of like a fun house and it's similar to the Mardi Gras and some other ones which I've been on before. I got on there once. It was another LOL because I was just bored and just waiting for some of the lines and some of the other rides to go down. Mainly on that alien abduction which did get a lot of people. And then Paratrooper. Paratrooper was not going as fast as I expected. But... It was going fast enough to get at least 90 points. It went fast. It went a little faster at the near end. So I gave it another two points for 92. Now, even with the little of rides, I think Alien Duction had just shocked me so much. I had to give a point to Big Rock. I had to give the point to Big Rock. And there you go. There's the point for Big Rock. Now, I gotta tell you about next week, and next week's gonna be a trip, because we're looking at a possible Carnival Weekend explosion. Not just Carnival 3, but the possible chance of a 4, a 5, even a 6, and 
don't give you all that it could be a seven. And the reason why I'm saying this is because of this. There are so many carnivals coming up next week alone. We're gonna start with Play World. Play World is in Dearborn Heights and Warren. North America Midway, which was actually what I planned for for Carnival 3 next Friday or next Saturday. They're in Warren at 12 Mile at Van Dyke, which is where I expected. And they're also going to be at St. Clair Shores at the Joan of Arc Church on Greater Mac, just north of Vernier. So those are two I was thinking, but then Scurvet comes in. And they got two carnivals. They got Berkeley Days and they got St. Robert Bellamine in Redford. You know... Scurvick has a new ride called the Twin Flip. I have to get on that ride. That's another one of those new rides I wanted to get on for the Thrill Seeker Carnival Series of 2013. So guess what? I got a Sony Hague. I'll tease the one of them. I don't know which one has the Twin Flip, but I got to ride it. And then you got Wade shows. I just realized Wade is going to be at Lakeside Mall in Sterling Heights this weekend as well. And they're still at the Gibraltar Trade Center in Taylor. Speaking of Taylor, you know you know that they have three other carnivals coming up. And that's for, for the Memorial Day weekend. Skirvick has Southland Mall Memorial Day weekend. North American Midway has St. John's and Taylor next week. Of the, actually on the week of Memorial Day. So that's three Taylor carnivals. Kind of makes you wish to live near Taylor my throat, you know what I mean? But... It's, 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 it's explosion week, as it's easy, because there's seven carnivals in one weekend. And they spin the, at least the 30 miles of the metropolitan Detroit area. I gotta get to some of it, at least. I wanna get to Scurvy because they have Twin Flip. Of course, I gotta get to Name because it was their first of the season, and I gotta get on Freak Out because Freak Out, Freak Out needs to be at least up there. So I need to start getting on Freak Out again. And then, and then I'm going back to give Spin Out and Wipe Out some more chances at Lakeside Mall. But then I have to go, I have to see if I can get to Taylor in the Roger Street Center because Fireball's there. And you know the, all, you know about the pitcher rivalry between Freak Out and Fireball. <sighs> Boy, this is going to be a very, very interesting week coming up. Hey, I don't even know where I'm going to go. You, if you want to know, you have to be on my Facebook page to so I can tell you what my route's going to be for next week. I do want to get all of my fans who live in the Metro Detroit area, who comes down to these carnivals and see me, to at least get on some rides with me and get on YouTube. So they'll say, ooh, I was on this ride. Hey, that's just me. <laughs> Anyways, again, go to my Facebook page at AJ Thrill Seeker. And you'll get more details about this carnival explosion next week and the week after, which is also another big one because, again, you got Hazel Park, you got Orchard Lake also with North American Midway. Oh boy. You got Mount Clemens there with weight shows, and you also got Bel Air with Elliot's Amusements. The next two weeks are going to be really big for carnivals. And this Thrill Seeker Carnival series is far from over. Anyways, rate, comment, subscribe, and comment on some things if you know where the carnivals are at. I do have other informants who tell me where the carnivals are at, so if you know where the carnivals are at besides the ones that I have on my Facebook page, just give a comment and I'll put it up on the page too. AJ the Thrill Seeker saying, see you next time.